Hey guys, in this video, I'm giving you a quick tour of a really cool tool I've been trying out called Dad. It's a free open source app builder for AI. And the best part is it runs locally on your computer. So if you've been a fan of tools like Lovable or V0, you can have all that on your local PC now instead of using those platforms. Just drop in your API keys pick models like GPT-4 or Gemini, and you're good to go. As long as your key supports the queries, you don't need to pay extra for other platforms. So in this short video, I'll show you how that works and why people are pretty hyped about it. To use this app is really simple, actually. You just go to their website and you download the app. That's all. It's available for Mac and Windows. I'm on Windows, so I just, I'll just click on this button here. It will download the app. Once it's downloaded, you just click on the exe file. Let it run. Once you're on the app, it will, you know, give you some prompts like sharing anonymous data. I'll just reject it. And here it will ask you to set up a key for an LLM API that uh, you want this tool to use. Basically, um, let me just go ahead and add my Gemini key here. You just, to do that, you just go to your Google AI studio and then you, you get API keys. Uh, I have a bunch of keys already here. For the demo purposes, I'll just copy one of those keys and and then just paste it here. If you want to create new ones, go ahead and create new keys there. Uh, but for now, I'll just use one of my existing keys. And I'll just save the key. Go back now, ready to give it a go. Now, Let's go ahead and select a model here. I'm going to choose Gemini 2.5 Pro. And then let's give it a prompt, a simple prompt call, maybe something like create a two page, two page web app for a coffee shop called The Daily Grind. The homepage should have a menu bar, a hero image, and sections for new drinks, footer, and so on. The second page should be a menu. Organized by category with with prices and a way to add items to a card. Use React, Next.js, and Tailwind. Use Lucy for icons. Icons. The surely design is fully responsive, and the final output of the code should be well structured and commented. Right. So give it a go. Doing its thing. Nice. Pretty much bones. There we go. Uh, let's approve it. And it's building the web page. You see, there's a hero section, your daily dose of perfection, of coffee shop. Uh, here you would put your own images, uh, but pretty nice. And then you can click on menu. There's a menu as well. Nice. So just created two different pages for me and you click on add to cart it says caramel should add it to cart and go to your cart. You see the cart item and so on. It took about two minutes to build all this and for a human it would probably take, I don't know, at least a day or two. There you go. And 
can arrange your chats here you can create new chats and you know build another app yeah that's that's all i wanted to do with this today uh let me try to see if it's responsive enough yep it is you you see there are two cars here reduce the screen size go to one car and so on finally let's uh, take a quick look at how the code is it built a whole project like it created all these components different files structure the code created mock data yeah i mean not bad uh, the only thing I noticed is I asked it to create the app using Next.js. It used a, you know, Vite React approach, which, I mean, I guess is not following my prompt, but otherwise it built the app pretty nice and the code also I mean, but we need to go through it more thoroughly, but uh, on surface, it looks like a well-structured app here. Hey right, guys, um, that's all I wanted to show you today. Comment down below with any questions. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.